What is the world's most powerful supercomputer? The answer might surprise you, as it is neither a colossal scientific research center nor an organism that has been named after a real or fictional character. It's actually one of the world's first commercial supermachines developed by US companies, AI product companies, and Silicon Valley giant NVIDIA. So what makes this machine so special? Keep watching to find out more about the power of Fugaku in this video. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. There are many different types of supercomputers, each with a unique set of features and capabilities. Floating point operations per second, FLOPs, rather than million instructions per second, MIPS, are used to quantify the performance of a supercomputer. Many thousands of processors are used in a supercomputer, which is capable of doing a staggering number of calculations per second. Some supercomputers can accomplish up to 100 quadrillion flops of computation per second. Real-time applications benefit greatly from the high speed at which data can be sent between processors in a supercomputer. Defending its title of fastest supercomputer in the world, Fujitsu and Riken's Fugaku supercomputer outperformed rivals from China and the US in testing. Supercomputer Fugaku was finished on March 9, 2021, and was made available for usage. To serve as the backbone of Japan's high-performance computing infrastructure, a project of the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, Riken and Fujitsu began work on the world's most powerful computer in 2014. The Fugaku system remained at the top of the newest top 500 ranking of the world's fastest supercomputers. There are two exascale 1000 petaflops systems in China that are reported to have been deployed earlier in 2021. Fugaku, on the other hand, is the most powerful publicly available system at 442 petaflops. Summit, IBM's supercomputer, came in second with just 148 petaflops. Every two years between June and November, a group of worldwide specialists compiles the results and publishes them. Other fields in which Fugaku excelled were artificial intelligence and huge data processing capabilities. The next generation supercomputer is the successor of Japan's K supercomputer, which was the world's most powerful machine in 2011. The 1.22 billion systems, which cost 130 billion yen, went live in March. For pharmaceutical research, as well as massive data analysis, its tremendous computational capacity has made it an attractive candidate. Automakers in Japan aim to employ Fugaku to help them design more durable car constructions by using AI to investigate crash effects. Riken ensured that organizations could simply generate software by creating Fugaku. With Fugaku's powerful modeling capabilities, Fujitsu Japan began researching COVID-19 fighting compounds in June 2021. Despite Fugaku's victory, the race to produce supercomputers has now split evenly between the United States and China. As well as being used for economic reasons, the two nations plan to conduct military research, including the creation of nuclear weapons, with the help of these facilities as well. A new generation of exascale computers is being developed by the United States, which will be at least twice as fast as the Fugaku. Frontier at Oak Ridge National Laboratory and Aurora at Argonne National Laboratory are said to be in a race to be up and running this year, according to sources. Fujitsu and Riken, a government-sponsored research organization in the western city of Kobe, have worked together over the last six years to develop Fugaku a system that incorporates 150,000 high-performance processing units and can analyze thousands of compounds each week. Nuclear explosion simulation, virtual weapons testing, and climate system modeling can all be done on supercomputers, which are 1,000 times quicker than a standard computer. An earthquake and tsunami in Japan will be simulated and evacuation routes mapped out by Fugaku, according to the Nike Business Daily. Researchers hope that the $1.2 billion supercomputers, which won't be completely operational until next year, will assist uncover therapies for COVID-19 among the about 2,000 currently available medications, 
including some that haven't yet reached the clinical trial stages, simulated the spread of respiratory droplets in partitioned office areas and on crowded trains with the carriage windows open in both of these situations earlier. For data-intensive and computation-heavy tasks such as quantum mechanics, weather forecasting, oil and gas exploration, molecular modeling, physical simulations, aerodynamics, nuclear fusion research or cryptanalysis, supercomputers are utilized. The first operating systems for supercomputers were designed to boost their speed. Supercomputer architecture has been moving away from proprietary in-house operating systems to Linux in the last several years. While the majority of supercomputers use Linux, each manufacturer tailors its own version of the operating system for maximum performance. SUSE Enterprise Lynx server was utilized by half of the world's most powerful supercomputers in 2017. Multiple computers are used to accomplish parallel processing in the biggest and most powerful supercomputers. Cloud computing is increasingly being used by academic and scientific research organizations, engineering businesses, and huge corporations that demand vast processing capacity. More inexpensive, scalable, and quicker to update than on-premise supercomputers is high-performance computing through the cloud, HPC. HPC designs built on the cloud may grow, adapt, and contract in response to changing business requirements. HPC calculations and data-intensive tasks may now be performed on current hardware thanks to SUS Lynx Enterprise High Performance Computing. You've probably heard a lot about the new area of supercomputing, but do you know what it is and how it might affect your everyday life? In an age where we have unprecedented quantities of data at our fingertips, supercomputers serve a critical role in helping us make sense of it all. Large-scale problems that would be almost impossible otherwise have been modeled using these simulations in recent years. Scientists' approach to weather forecasting, studying the expansion of the cosmos and devising the best ways to use and manage energy are all being transformed by these new technologies. A sudden cold front or heat wave is something we've all had to deal with at some point or another. However, supercomputers have the ability to assist us to improve our weather forecasts, as well as to help us better use our diversified energy resources. Most of us, particularly those of us who drive great distances to work, would want to save money at the gas pump. One way that supercomputers may help lessen the burden on our wallets is by improving the efficiency of conventional combustion engines. Heart disease is one of the most common and deadly illnesses in the United States. An important factor in speeding up research into how the heart reacts to therapy is the Department of Energy DOE, supercomputers, which have played a major role in this endeavor. Every day, new discoveries and inventions are created in the field of technology. When we become more and more dependent on technology, it's crucial to keep in mind what we can do on our own as well. Supercomputers' achievements may seem unbelievable, but we can all do our bit to make the world a better place. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch our next video on the world's most satisfying inventions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.